And we now turn to how the South Korean military assesses North Korea's latest missile test and the level of threat the regime's possible upgrades pose to the region. Kim Hyun Bin reports. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said on Monday that the mid-range missile North Korea fired on Sunday, the Pukuksong-2, appears to be an upgraded version of its submarine-launched ballistic missile. This is an upgraded version of SLBM on land. North Korea has also developed a launch pad that is capable of conducting a cold launch, which is used to launch missiles from submarines. South Korea's defense ministry also affirmed North Korea claimed that a solid fuel engine was used to launch the missile. Experts say that compared to liquid fuel, solid fuel engines take less time to fill, and the fuel can be stored for a long period of time in the missile. They also say that when this type of missile is attached to a mobile launch pad, North Korea could launch it at any time and from any place, making it harder for Seoul and Washington to detect the missile before launch. There is a reason North Korea prefers solid fuel. Liquid fuel is difficult to inject and takes a long time. Solid fuel engines are more combat proficient, and it will be hard for Seoul to use the kill chain system to launch a preemptive strike on a solid fuel missile. North Korea's Pukuksong-2 mid-range missile launched Sunday, flew 500 kilometers before landing in the East Sea. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.